Success Story The world is full of animals of every shape and size you can think of. We usually recognize and pay attention to larger animals such as mammals, birds, amphibians, and fish. But there are smaller and less noticeable animals in the world, which are much more numerous. We mean insects and spiders. These include mostly tiny animals that we can call the most successful animals in the world. For example, insects are the first animals on the planet that gained the ability to fly, and with this, they escaped from their predators and wandered to the corners of the earth to get food and find mates. Most people dislike insects and spiders, some even fear them. It is true that some species of insects and spiders bite, sting, and may even transmit disease, but for millions of years, they have been an important food source for other animals, and they play a vital role in the pollination of flowers. Without them, many plants could not exist. Arthropods Invertebrates make up 97% of all living species on Earth. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone. Some of them are mollusks like worms. But most of these animals are arthropods. They have an exoskeleton and webbed feet. Usually, we mistakenly call these animals insects or pests. Arthropod bodies are very different from ours. Although they move, eat, breathe and sense their surroundings just like us. In all arthropods, the exoskeleton forms the outer covering, and the fleshy tissue is underneath it. This exoskeleton shell is made of chitin, almost the same as your nails. This hard shell has movable joints made of flexible chitin. This skeleton is waterproof and prevents the evaporation of moisture from the insect's body. This is why many insects can easily live in hot and dry areas, while mollusk invertebrates such as snails cannot survive in such a harsh environment. It is interesting to know that 80% of all animals on Earth are arthropods and scientists say that there are probably more than 10 million unknown species of insects. Crustaceans Most crustaceans live in seas and oceans, such as crabs and lobsters. Some crabs spend most of their lives on land. But a group of these crustaceans lives entirely on land, such as woodlesses. These animals live in humid areas. The number of legs of crustaceans varies greatly, and the woodlouse can be considered a small millipede due to its number of legs. Millipedes and centipedes are included in this group. The body of centipedes consists of a chain of rings, each ring has a pair of legs. In the case of millipedes, there are two pairs of legs per ring. Centipedes are fast predators, while millipedes are herbivores and move slowly. Spiders Spiders use their silk threads for hunting in many cases. Their body has only two parts, and they are equipped with poisonous bites that help them in hunting. Few spiders are dangerous to humans. Scorpions Although scorpions are from the same family as spiders, their body shape is entirely different from spiders. They appear similar to a crab or a lobster. Some scorpions are extremely poisonous. Insects The largest number of arthropods belong to this group. Insects account for more than half of all animals on Earth. The diversity of this group of animals is amazing. All adult insects have six legs, most of which are equipped with wings. Some of them have a bite, and a few are pathogenic for us humans. Instead, most of them are very beautiful and colorful. Most arthropods have perfect locomotion tools because they use at least six legs, but some insects and other species have wings at some point in their life, and few have no legs at all. Among those without legs, some crawl like worms, and some swim. Insects like grasshoppers and fleas can jump well. It is interesting to know that insects are the first group of animals on Earth that found the ability to fly. On the other hand, some species of insects are record holders of speed and movement powers among all animals. Insects flew in the air 150 million years earlier than birds. The exoskeleton of arthropods is very rigid, 
and unlike the skin of other animals, it cannot grow as the animal grows. Therefore, arthropods are forced to molt. Of course, this is dangerous for many arthropods. Because at this time, the animal becomes completely defenseless. That is why most species do this process in the dark and away from the eyes of predators. Life Path When animals start life, most look like their parents, only smaller. Most arthropods are the same. For example, children of spiders or scorpions are copies of their parents, only smaller.